Hey guys, so we got into a interesting debate on my Facebook about whether or not on their first date, so this is the first time you're meeting someone, you should tell them that you play Magic the Gathering. I, having experienced multiple first dates over the past two years, uh, have found someone for me. Uh, we are building a family. We have a one-month daughter, Farina, and things are going really, really well. Uh, but based on first dates, only on the first date, I would say absolutely do not tell them you play Magic the Gathering. Do not tell them you collect Funko figures. That would be another big red flag for them because they're not, most women view these hobbies as very, very unattractive. Now we will get to what my point is. So John Finkel, at, in 2011, when he went on a date with Alyssa, now, the only reason we know about this is because Alyssa was an intern at Gizmo. And Gizmo, a, I believe, a technology journal at the time, uh, decided to allow her, an intern, to write about her date with John Finkel, basically discriminating against all Magic players as complete losers. She mentioned Magic the Gathering along with serial killers. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer was mentioned uh, in the play. If you read the article, which has now been deleted from Gizmo, and I think it's been uploaded in a few other places now, you will come to the conclusion that probably she's not alone, right? She feels so confident she can just attack this guy's name that she must have thought that other people, specifically women, and they did defend her, and they absolutely, she's still writing for, she is a wellness writer for the Los Angeles Times, so her career was not affected adversely at all from writing a slam piece against the greatest magic player of all time um he is the greatest magic player of all time you know we, i've juggled between him and kai buddha and, and some other individuals but yeah i mean he either is the greatest or one of the greatest um i mean he's he's a world champion in 2011 he was i think the greatest the greatest magic player. So even if you are an amazing magic player, you've accomplished what most people can only dream of accomplishing. If you meet someone on the first date who does not play Magic the Gathering and they go home to Google who you are, they are just going to be so disgusted that you play Magic the Gathering. Right? And this is supposedly, this is a woman with a nerdy brother. This is a woman who writes for Gizmo, who likes nerds, right? Like, who herself is a nerd, according to herself in this article. And yet, she is so turned off by Magic the Gathering that she went on a second date with John Finkel just to write this piece. So the first date wasn't enough, right? Because there's not enough to write about to Gizmo. So she went on a second date specifically, strike one, strike two, st strike three, as he would say in her article to tell everyone that you should never date a Magic the Gathering, which he reiterates over and over and over again, that this thing is like a disease. It's like a virus. It's like having a child, as he compares it to, right? So it would be like a guy dating a woman and the woman not telling the guy that she has like five kids at home. That's how she equates this to. Uh, this is exactly how she equates it to. It's like having a child and not mentioning it. Um... I obviously uh, thought, you know, and there was a lot of backlash and I was obviously on John Finkel's side at the time, but that's still the reality today. The reality today is on a first date, again, a first date being the first time you really interact and meet with this person, you really do not want to tell them that you like anime, that you like Funko figures, that you like anime figures, that you like uh, cards of any type. I mean, Pokemon cards are probably okay. But at any other cards, I mean, God forbid you do a Meadow Zoo and you go on a date. Most of these Meadow Zoo dudes, like, man, I mean, they'd be doing some push-ups in their Meadow Zoo boxes. Show them a video. <laughs> and it's not going to work, man. Like, you got to talk about things that they're interested in. And, and this is the discussion we had on Facebook is like, oh, well, I don't want to date someone that isn't interested or is offended by my hobbies. That's like 99% of the people, guys. Like, straight up, man, you, you tell them, hey, I collect Funkos. You're fucking dead in the water, man. You are dead in it. Maybe they don't write about it publicly. And the, the reason I'm bringing up this old one, because, A, it's John Mother Effing Finkel. Like, if there was a nerd that was king of the nerds, it would be John Finkel. 
right? I mean, it would be him at this time. 2011, yes, he is the most famous Magic the Gathering player by a large margin. And yet, he didn't get no respect for Magic the Game. In fact, they attacked him, and they criticized him, and they... It's... Look, guys, you can either be alone the rest of your life, okay? Like, it's okay. Like, how did I find someone? Well, we I didn't fucking talk about Magic. We talked about Pokemon. We played Pokemon Go. See what's interesting in Genshin Impact. I bought a laptop, so we could play Genshin Impact together. We talked about hobbies that she enjoyed that I thought I could be interested in as well. Uh, she was really into traveling and and concerts and, and cruises and just basically spending money on experience things while I'm more like, okay, I would rather just buy an anime figure or I'd rather just buy another dual land with that money, right? Lady Gaga concerts being 500 whatever dollars a ticket. <laughs> you know, I was like, holy shit, man. Um... But, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of these things. You want to be single the rest of your life? Or are you willing to, you know, listen to other hobbies? Because they have, uh, when I mean they, I mean, if you are a dude, you know what dating is like, right? Unless you are super attractive, super, even if you're super wealthy or semi-wealthy like myself, it's still very difficult to find individuals, right? And, and even, and I'll put it this way, even if they're like, oh, yeah, Magic is great, they're probably only fan models, my dudes. Like, that's what, they're gold diggers, right? So only fan models are gold diggers, right? So, like, this type of person who would be, like, impressed by your Magic collection, they're looking to steal your mother effing Magic collection, my friends. Um, I, I told a story about this one time uh, in, in Houston. There's this uh, female, and she's very attractive, and she'll... I used to see a dealing in comics a lot, and she would always have these magic cards she was selling. Oh, it's my ex-boyfriend, and he was abusive to me. Could you give me four? And they, they were all fake magic cards. But and, and the store owners knew, or the uh, manager knew it was fake, but they, they felt so bad for her, they just gave her some money anyway. Because, hey, it's not my money, right? It's the owner's money. Uh, and she would do this a lot, and because like if she found one dude who would give her money for fake cards all the time... So at one point in time, there was just a, a flood of fake cards in every, like, I'm not going to say every, but because, you know, again, the, you don't want to mention the store names and stuff, but there were multiple stores because, not because their owner was doing anything wrong or they didn't train it incorrectly. It was just because this really attractive female was selling fake cards from her, quote, boyfriend who had spent so much money on them and they broke up and... Uh, she needs rant, and he was abusive, and then people felt really sorry for her. And when I mean people, I meant the uh, the dude in the counter, behind the counter, which isn't the owner, and all these fake cards got bought up. It was a really terrible time in Houston. Uh, it was probably like seven years. I know uh, Pico Trade was really big at the time because he was also they also recommended her to do up on Pico Trade, which he did. Um, yeah, man, I was like, whoa, this is wrong, guys. Stop this. Stop this right now. And, those, and, and the, the reason I bring this up is I actually have a video about it. The video is probably titled, They Didn't Give Me My Falias, or something like that. Because they didn't. 